What's going on? I'm Jay Tarantino with The Guitar Boss. Welcome back to another lesson today. We're going to be breaking down some of the sick licks that I just played for you right here from the Ethereum song, March of Defy. Make sure you're warmed up and pay attention. So for today's lesson, we're going to be breaking down the intro guitar solo to the Ethereum song March and Defy from our Third of Life EP. And again, like always, like a lot of the licks that I've been doing in this lesson series, just a lot of alternate picking. It's a pretty brisk tempo, 170 beats per minute. It's just going to be a lot of relentless 16th notes. So make sure you're warmed up. I'm going to play along with the track so you get the context of the lick. So here we go. Alright, so the lick is going to start 17th fret on the G, and we're going to be doing this pattern. So it's going to be... So at 17, we're going to be pedaling. So kind of similar to the open string lick that we did in the Soothsayer. So it's going to be... So the lick is going to be 17, 19... Oh, I'm sorry, 17, 20, 19. So those are going to be the main notes of the lick. So... Again, all 16th notes, so just practice it, go slow, and just start off with that first phrase, so. Good way to practice it. Let's get the first part. So that next part, that next lick is, so it's just the run on the B string. So we're doing 20, 20, 18, 16, 15, 16, 18. 20, 18, 16, 15, 16, 18, 16, 15. So. So that first lick is. So again, just break the lick up into little chunks. Just practice that first phrase. Just practice it slow with the metronome. Get the picking, get the motion going, get the alternate picking going. And then the next phrase is gonna be this lick right here. So we're doing. So this is gonna be on the E and the B string. So, so we're doing something similar to what we did in the first lick. So it's gonna be. So it's 20, 18, 16 on the E string. Then we're doing 20 on B, 18, 16 on the E string. So again, 20, 18, 16 on the E, and then 20 on B, 18, 16 on E, back to 20, 18 on the B. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So remember, you're gonna end that with an upstroke, so. And again, add that, now that you learned, we've learned that lick, we went over that lick, put them together again, make it longer. So again, up to there we have. So here's the next part of the solo, and it's very similar to the first part. It's just all essentially just variations on the same theme, just with slight changes. So here it is. So that's exactly the same as the first time, and then we slightly change the ending a little bit. So we're doing... So that lick is... So it's 20, 18, 16 on E, 20, 18, 16, and then we're doing... So it's 20, 18, 20, 18, 16, 15, 16, 18, 16, 15, so... So again, that like slow is. So up to there we have. Next 
Next lick, again, it starts off exactly the same as the first time. Like I said, it's just all variations of the same theme. So the lick is. So it's just this same, that same pattern just keeps reoccurring throughout this lick. So, so we do the same thing on the E string. So again. So again, from the beginning, the whole lick slow is. So next lick is this E flat major arpeggio. We're just going down the arpeggio and then back up again. So, so again, E flat major starting 18th fret on the E string, and we're doing 18, 15, 16, 15, 17, 18. So. so again, going back up, we're starting 13th fret, we're doing 13, 18. 17, 15, 16, 15, 18. So, and then we're doing this little pull off, hammer on pull off lick on the E string. So it's just 18, 18 15, 16, 15. So again. And we're going to do this little triple lick. Now you can pick the whole thing, or you know, I tend to do like a combination of alternate and hammer-ons and pull-offs. So you can do. So again, that lick is. And I use my index finger for most of it, for most of the notes on the G. So. So from the beginning up to that point, we have. So we're gonna end this lick with a series of bends. So we're starting 12th fret on the G and we're gonna do. So we're going 12 on G to 15 on the B and then we're gonna bend that note up a half a step, so. So from there, next lick, back to the 12th fret on the G. So we're gonna bend 16 on the B up a whole step to 18, so. Down. We're gonna hit 15 on B, and we're gonna slide up to 20, and it's gonna let it ring out with a little vibrato. So again, that ending lick is. So the last half with the sweep arpeggio, that lick goes like this. So again, here's the entire lick played slow one more time.